Coming up next on Radio Control Hobbies, RC helicopters of all imaginable sizes and shapes. Welcome to Radio Control Hobbies. I'm Chris Chianelli. Well, after a short trip through the corn and soybean fields, here we are at the Academy of Model Aeronautics in Muncie, Indiana. They're hosting the Urcha Helicopter Jamboree, which is, by the way, the largest event the AMA has ever hosted at their awesome facility. Over 500 hot dog pilots from all over the country come here to show their stuff. All right, now take a look at all these helicopters here. There has to be something that you're gonna love. And we're gonna tell you what they all are, but first I want you to meet Ron, Coomer. He's the president of Urcha, which stands for International, International Radio, Radio Control Controlled Helicopter Association. Association. Now, you've run this event here how many years? Uh, we have had the event here on AMA headquarters for four years now. This is our fifth year here, but we have held the event for 12 years. So this is our 12th annual, and we are growing. And as a matter of fact, it's the largest event in the world from the helicopter standpoint. And there's word out now that this year we're going to exceed the largest event ever in the world if we top 500. 130 pilots, which we have a good uh, chance of doing that. It's been my experience that uh, electric helicopters, easy to fly helicopters, get more people into radio control than any other of the facets of the hobby. Well, the electric helicopters today are really a growing uh, portion of our hobby, and we have three helicopters here, and, and they're a very good representation of the sizings that we have. Nice. This is a living room model. You can fly this sitting in front of the fireplace in the winter when you really get bored with all the snow out there. And it comes 100% built? It comes this way. Okay. We also have the Align. This is a 3D machine, meaning this will perform all the maneuvers that you see some of the larger helicopters out here doing. It'll do all the stunts, and, and it's that big. And this is an auditorium-sized helicopter where you'd be flying. But you can also, on a calmer day, fly it outside. Yeah, we could be out here today flying this with no trouble okay. at all. Okay. Now, th this one has an outrunner. This, that, that's my favorite electric motor. They call it an outrunner because actually the outside of the can is, is what uh, turns and yeah. it produces a lot of torque. Yeah, this, this is a high performance, what we would call a high performance electric helicopter using new technology batteries. Brushless. Lithium polymer, brushless motor, brushless speed controller. Some of these draw up to 70 amps with no trouble at all and we can get up towards 15 minutes of flying time out of them now. Okay, now if you want to get into the hobby uh, with something that's glow, this Kyosho uh, caliper would be good. Yeah, this is a caliber 30. There are many helicopters in this uh, type of si this sizing that would be very good from a, for a beginner, from uh, a, a product like the Kyosho Caliber, the Raptor 30, uh, the uh, Venture 30. There's many out there, but the 30 is typically a helicopter size that most guys get into because of cost. What do we have here? Okay, this is a, uh, this these two, I should say, are more of a high-performance machines that, that you would see 90% of the flyers out here at the, at the helicopter jamboree flying. All right, and now, this is powered by a true turbine jet engine. Yeah, you can see the turbine back here and the exhaust deflectors that are in it. And this uses the turbine to power it and a, and a gear coupling to power the main shaft. This is the latest in the technology that we have today from uh, powering a helicopter radio control standpoint. It's a jet, just like a jet that you would see at an airport. Same sound, same smell. Same smell. Yes. And it's, 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 it's a very exciting facet of the hobby. And I love the scale stuff. Yeah, the, the scale, you know, whether you're into helicopters, whether you're into airplanes, scale is just a particular breed in itself. Yeah. The, the type of person that does this, it's a person that loves the hobby. Uh, this type of a ship could take anywhere from six months to six years to complete. Everybody's having fun here, I'll tell you that. Ron, thanks a lot. Thank you. I appreciate you spending the time. 
Let's go take a closer look at some of the other birds. Don't go away. When we Back to the Urcha Helicopter Jamboree, held at the Academy of Model Aeronautics Facility in Muncie, Indiana. The best helicopter jocks from around the country have all come here, and these guys are having way too much fun. Let's get back to the action. If you're new to RC helicopters, the term 3D flying means that all sorts of wild maneuvers are being performed, especially inverted flying. A good 3D pilot can make an RC helicopter do things a full-scale helicopter cannot do. It's no wonder this is considered the highest level of model helicopter flying. I wanted to take a moment, along with my friend Jared Granzo, to show you how to work the controls on the transmitter to elicit a certain response in the helicopter. I'm going to start with the right-hand stick. That's called the cyclic. Now, what this does is this feeds in pitch to the fly bar paddles at a, at a specific area of rotation to make the helicopter go forward. or reverse go to the right or go to the left that's called the cyclic now on the left hand stick this controls the yaw um, and if you look back here the uh, tail rotor also has a, a, a huge change in the pitch both ways, and that's what pushes the tail boom to the right or the left. Okay, so if you move the left stick to the right, the helicopter will yaw to the right or clockwise. If you move it to the left, the helicopter will yaw to the left or counterclockwise. The other control that you have on the transmitter on the left-hand stick is the throttle and the collective which work together. Collective feeds in pitch equally around the entire rotation of the main rotor, all 360 degrees. As you add collective, the helicopter goes up. As you pull back on collective, it goes down. And that's how it works. Now that Jared has been kind enough to help us out with the basics, let's see what he can really do.